Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a review and taking a look at Huian's Canvas 22 display tablet as well as Huian's key dial, the mini key dial KD100. I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up these products as well as demonstrating creating an art piece with them and sharing my thoughts on these products. To give you an idea of what I'm comparing it to, I've been previously using an XP Pen tablet, which was the same size as this, and that size being 21 and a half inches uh, measured diagonally. For hotkeys, I've been previously using the Torbox device, which looks like this. This is the Torbox that I've been previously using for many months, so I'm going to be comparing the use of the Torbox to the Huian mini key dial device and sharing my thoughts on those. I did not record an unboxing video for this review, however I do have some pictures of what comes in the box. We of course have the tablet display itself, the adjustable back stand which does require a little bit of assembly. It does come with the screws and allen wrench for you to put the back stand, attach it to the tablet. We have the key dial device and also we have the appropriate cables that we need to plug in the tablet. It also comes of course with the pen and also a glove so that your hand glides better across the tablet while you're drawing. The first thing that you need to do when setting up your Canvas 22 tablet is attach the back stand to the tablet. Like I said, it comes with the four screws that you need to attach it, as well as an Allen wrench. It comes included with the box, so no need for any screwdrivers or anything. So you're going to want to attach the stand. With these four screws here, it's pretty easy to just screw them in. Um, just make sure that you're installing this the right way up. I installed it upside down on accident when I had been installing this. Just make sure that this adjustable part is right on the top here. And I can also demonstrate how you adjust it. So you just pull up the little bar in the back and then just adjust the angle of the tablet as you would like. Very easy to adjust. After installing the back stand on the tablet, what you're gonna wanna do is plug in everything First, you're going to want to plug it into the power cable, uh, which connects to an outlet, and that sort of feeds into this multi-cable here, which has the HDMI and the USB ports that you'll need. For my computer, I use a Mac, so I, have to, I had to buy an adapter to connect the HDMI into a lightning bolt cable because my Mac does not have an HDMI port built in. The next thing that you're going to want to do after plugging in your tablet is to download and install the drivers that you're going to need with your tablet. So you simply go to huian.com slash download and you're just going to search your respective model that you have. We are using the Canvas 22 model and so you're just going to select, depending on what uh, iOS computer that you have, you're going to download the the respective driver software for whatever you have, then just install that on your computer. Once that's all installed, it's going to look like this. And you'll see that there's an image of the Canvas tablet in the software. You can select this tab right here to adjust your working area where you want the screen to be. If you select this one on the right here, your, your pen is going to be on your computer screen rather than the tablet. You're going to typically want it to be here on the left so that you're actually drawing on the tablet itself and the pen is working right in your workspace. One complaint I do have with this tablet is sometimes this does get reset, especially if I'm turning my computer off and back on. It'll reset the working area to my computer monitor, which I typically don't want. So um, it's it's a really quick switch back that you can just click it and it'll reset, but it is a little bit annoying. So 
You can also adjust your pen pressure settings in this software right here. You just have to click the digital pen and you can go to the pressure setting on this and then you can adjust your pen pressure right here which is very nice. You can just adjust it to however you like it. Um, in this software also, I also have the mini key dial device so if you can go down here and click the little tabs you can actually see that the mini key dial comes up right here and all in one software which is really nice. This is where you're going to be programming the key dial device to whatever hotkeys that you use most. You just have to click in the upper right here and click what whatever programs you use most for drawing and you're going to program each key to whatever hotkey you like each button to correspond to. It's really easy to set up. You can uh, it's completely customizable so you can program the this device however you like. There is a wireless and wired mode for the key dial device, which is really nice. It does seem to have a battery, so you might need to plug it in occasionally um, if you are using the wireless mode a lot. But it does have a sleep time setting right here, so you can adjust it so that it goes to sleep after inactivity for 15 minutes or however much you set here. The brightness setting right here is to adjust the brightness of the little light of the Huyin logo on the actual device. It's really easy to set up, quick to set up, easy to download those drivers and get set up pretty relatively quick. That's about it for setup. Now I'm going to be demonstrating me creating an art piece using the Hui and Canvas 22 tablet as well as the mini key dial device for hotkeys. And I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on these products while I'm working. I received these products in mid-November, so I've been using the products for about three weeks now. I'll start by saying my first impressions of each product. For the Canvas 22 display tablet, the first thing I noticed right away was that the screen was a lot brighter and crisper than my previous tablet. The brightness is adjustable, so I had quickly adjusted this to my liking. Secondly, I quickly realized that the tablet just felt a lot smoother uh, than my previous tablet did. The surface is a lot smoother, so I feel like I get a lot more control using this tablet. Going off that point, the pen pressure works really excellently, and I get great control over my brush strokes. Uh, the stand is also very easy to adjust. The tablet works really consistently with no real issues. My only complaint, again, being that sometimes the workspace does reset in that software, the driver software, so I just have to click it back, but it's a really quick um, adjustment. As for the mini key dial device, my baseline of comparison is the Torbox device, which is also a program used exclusively to program hotkeys into. I've been using the Torbox device for about a year and a half. Uh, the mini key dial is designed quite differently, so it was a bit skeptical if I was going to like this device in comparison to the Tourbox that I'd already been using for a long time already. Uh, I'll start by sharing the first impressions of the mini key dial device. First, uh, at first I was disappointed that you couldn't really program key combinations into this device as the Tourbox allows you to do. This way it decreases the amount of keys you can program, which is a bit limiting. By this, specifically, I mean that you can't effectively use two programmed keys together at the same time in combination with each other. However, you can program one individual key to a combination of keys, such as Control z for Undo. You can sort of work around this, for example, programming the Shift key to one key, then B to another key, and then using one key after the other. However, this is very finicky sometimes. It doesn't consistently work, so I'd just recommend 
uh, programming each individual key to just one key or set of keys. At first, compared to the tour box, I was disappointed in the lack of differentiation between each key. For example, with the tour box, there's specific kinds of keys, different dials, different knobs, different shapes of keys that are sort of spread out. And with the key dial, it's just each button is just a square shape that are all next to each other. So I find that the tour box is a bit easier to use because each key is sort of differentiated. I like how the tour box has separate dials for zoom and brush size, while with the key dial, there is one knob and you click a little button in the center to switch between zoom and brush size. So that is a difference between those two devices. But overall, it just took some getting used to and adjustment from working with the tour box for so long. It was a bit of a curve to get used to using the key dial device, but I found that it actually wasn't so bad and I was getting used to the interface and design and was able to program the device to most of my needs. And I was able to get used to switching between the zoom and the brush size. I'd say that overall, the device is really useful for programming using hotkeys effectively and gets the job done. It was really easy to set up and program, the keys are super responsive, it's very thin and light which is very nice as well. It can also sit nicely right on top of your tablet display. And one significant difference to mention between the tour box and mini key dial device is the price. The tour box goes for about $169, while the key dial device goes for about $50, so that's a very significant difference. If you're in the market to get a hotkey device and budget is a concern for you, I would definitely go for the key dial device because it's a lot cheaper and still gets the job done and still is a really helpful tool for programming hotkeys. In summary, I found that the Canvas 22 tablet is super crisp and bright, it's super smooth, and is very easy to use. It has very great control and great pen pressure. As for the key dial, once you get used to it, it's a really great tool for hotkeys. It's really easy to set up and program, and once you get the muscle memory down of where each key is, it's a very handy tool that I would highly recommend. Here's a final result of the piece that I was creating in the video. Those were all my thoughts about the Huion Canvas 22 display tablet and mini key dial KD100 device. The Canvas 22 is priced at $449 and the mini key dial at about $50. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Huian for sending me these awesome products to try out. I think I'll definitely be continuing to use the Canvas 22 display tablet for my work. And that's all. Thank you for watching.